Hey guys, it's October 13th. I'm just getting out of school. Uh, it's about four o'clock getting on the road. I'm leaving Southwest Wisconsin to go down to our property in Missouri. So I got a five hour drive. It should be, it's a long, pretty long drive. So let's get on the road, let's get there. I'll have all of Friday and uh, Saturday and then part of Sunday to hunt. So have a little bit of time to hunt and yeah so we'll either see you up in missouri or we'll see you in the stands so hopefully we can get it done okay it's october 14th first time hunting in the stand this year for me uh, i got in last night an interesting thing i saw i saw a joe gibbs racing uh, truck and trailer Alright, so just got out of the ranger, gonna go sit in our alfalfa plot. Um, this is the second year it's been established, um, so usually, like always, the second year of the alfalfa is always the best. Um, this year we actually, this field right here, we've had the best pictures of the biggest deer on our property each year, so um, consistently, I just realized that one, but this year we have the, bit, the best picture of a buck that we have is out of this field as well so and in daylight hours so we'll see if we can get it done I'm gonna pull the the card as well when I go back there so let's see if we can get it done hopefully we get something so stay tuned stand on this property and I'll show you why because uh, it's hard to see the bow is like right next to you on the slim so there's no reaching around for it so that's a big positive about this tree got the comfortable lone wolf I mean uh, river's edge ladder stand so really comfy stand about to get set up uh, the wind is pretty good for this field it's coming at my face so I'm looking right at the field as you can tell but the winds coming right at my face it's coming this way so if the deer come to the field I should be okay until I shoot him but this stand has been known for, for us to get picked out of so and the leaves fell early on this tree so I don't know if it's dead or what but I'll make it harder so that dough for 
so hopefully something comes out this side. So I followed her, she kind of made a roundabout way, it was kind of hard to find some of the blood because there's grasses, got this tree, and I look up, 
and she's right down there and right there is our a lane we have it couldn't be any per more perfect so let's go down there and let's get her hey guys October 14th afternoon hunt I knew it was gonna be a good one I had a doe out at about 130 yards um, she ended up leaving and then we had a button buck and this doe come out and I shot her about 10 yards and she couldn't have run no further than 60 yards so it is a perfect shot the Athens Solus did its job um, man I'm excited I got the doe tag filled and gonna look for a big buck next so thanks for watching guys